Larian and Rudy are raising a family. This is how life should be. This is their story. Raccoon Eyed Larger here in the kitchen on a Sunday morning with Mr. Rooney and Mr. Jonathan and Mr. Jaden. We've got daily bumps up on the TV and we're trying to cook some breakfast. You know what I'm saying? We did not go to church this morning because both boys have colds. Jaden is slowly getting over his and Jonathan's has just begun. So I made the executive decision to stay home with them because you know you don't take children out when they're sick like that's just not what you do and the mistake we made last night was taking Jonathan with us to the party not realizing that he was that sick I think I think it was bad it's when we got there yeah when we got there something triggered his sinuses and stuff and I don't know what happened but it was it was very strange because we left the house and he was fine we got to the party and his eyes are runny and I was like what in the world that's weird yeah so I'm gonna read the scripture of the day to you it comes to us from Psalm 25 verse 15 my eyes are continually toward the Lord for he will pluck my feet out of the net amen say amen Jaden you don't want to say amen Okay. That's not amen. Remember you used to say ah B. You don't say that anymore because you're you're not a BB anymore. But I <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Rudy is cooking some eggs. I'm gonna make myself some oatmeal and I think I think that's all I'm gonna have. Oh no, I'm gonna make myself a soy milk smoothie and probably have an orange because we need the vitamin C. Oh, I'm trying to get so much work done today because since we're home with the boys, you know, like we gotta use this opportunity to do stuff. So I'm gonna attempt to tackle some photography work. I'm going to work on inventory for the women's conference, which is coming up this Thursday. And I don't know if there's anything Rudy wants to do. I'm trying to get stuff done that I never do during the week. Okay. That's about it. And more importantly though, like try to like relax even just a little bit at some point, right Rudy? If it's possible. If possible, because we don't want to like overwork ourselves. The weekends are usually for fun and getting a little work done. So we don't want to do too much work today. Okay? Okay. Hey guys, I have spent what the past five, six hours working. I've been putting in so much work, I'm very proud of myself. I actually accomplished one deadline and uh, actually I accomplished a few things. One of them was for photography and then I also did some personal stuff and it's been kind of rough because Jonathan is a newborn still and he's sick with a cold and it's just really tough to take care of sick newborns like just in case you don't know like it's not very easy because you know he doesn't feel good and so he's just very miserable always wants to be held and even when you're holding him he's crying and oh, it's just really sad I don't like it at all it makes me really sad for him because there's nothing you can really do can't give him medicine and all that stuff so just kind of have to wait it out so I'm guessing for like the next week or the next five six days you know it's not gonna be very easy taking care of him but I just want him to get better as soon as possible I don't want it to turn into anything more than a cold so anyway I'm on my way to the nail salon right now I don't know if they're gonna take me because the mall closes at 6 and it's minutes to 5 but this was the earliest I could get out of the house because Rudy was trying to put Jaden to sleep and I was doing work and taking care of Jonathan so I really hope that they take me because I have this new gel nail color that I need to review for you guys. <laughs> I've had it for like the past two weeks, so I need to review it. All right guys, I made it home. I am so tired. <laughs> I was falling asleep in the chair, so embarrassing. But I'm gonna eat some dinner and then we can talk about this epic fail that happened. Wait until you hear this. Guys, we are in the kitchen for family time. Say hey family. <laughs> wow, thank you so much for that amazing reception. Nobody said anything. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jaden. I, I was gonna count on you, but you're just shedding a tear right now. Is that what you're doing? Yeah? You keep looking at me for, to confirm that you can talk. 
You can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you like. So we've just been hanging out as a family, no TV. You know, I told Rudy a few weeks ago that I wanted Jaden to watch less television because I didn't really grow up on TV like that, you know? Like, I mean, I'm not gonna try to pretend I didn't watch TV, but it was just not such a staple in the house. I didn't sit in front of the TV and eat. And I don't like the thought of my children sitting in front of TV and eating every single time they eat, especially on a Sunday. Because I don't know about Mr. Rooney, but but my parents were very religious in the sense that we didn't do a thing on Sundays. We didn't play outside. We didn't watch TV. Unless, it, yeah, no, it's not weird, Rudy. It's called having reverence. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I, I, we didn't do anything crazy either. No, no, no. We it didn't was, do anything. It's like if, if we did anything, anything, it was would watch other uh, church ceremonies on TV. Yeah, the only thing that was allowed to be on TV was something that had to do with God. So no movies, no nothing like that. And and even after I moved out of the house, like I practiced doing that. On sat Saturday nights, I don't watch certain things. On Sunday, if I'm gonna watch a YouTube video, then it's gonna be, you know, probably not Lily. <laughs> Probably not anything else like it has to be something that's like super super clean not saying that her bird her, wow. Not saying that her, mm -hmm. Not saying that her videos are dirty Aye. Now you want to talk Jaden? <laughs> where, <laughs> where were you when I said say hey family where were you? Yeah, but So that's one of the things I want to practice. I am gonna go upstairs and talk about my nails soon. I promise. Jaden. I'm not supposed to laugh. What happened? I'm not supposed to laugh. He's gonna choke. <laughs> what happened? Okay, boys and girls, it is the next day and I'm finally ready to do this review of my Opie nail polish. Opie gave me this nail polish to try and these opinions are 100% my own. I was not paid to do this or anything like that. I just wanted to try some nail polish and I did exactly that. This is what it looks like. I was under the impression, this is why I said it was a fail. I was under the impression that it was gel color. I don't know why I thought that it was gel because I only use gel nail polish. So that's why I actually got it, because I was like, oh cool, a color that I get to choose instead of waiting to go to the salon. But it's actually regular nail polish. And it's beautiful. As you can see, it's pink, <laughs> my favorite color. And they applied it in gel style. So it'll probably last longer than regular nail polish would. So I'm happy about that. This is what my nails look like. Aren't they beautiful? I love it. I usually get my nails done every two weeks, so let's see if this actually lasts for two weeks because that'll be great. If not, then I'll get them redone on Saturday. You'll see. So these nail colors are available in select salons and stores since February 2017, so that's good for you guys. If you want to go get yourself some nail polish, you can check out the link in the description of this video. Let me know if there's a nail color, for those of you who actually check out the website, let me know if there's a nail color that I should try out next because as you guys can tell, I really love getting my nails done every two weeks. It makes me feel like a princess. So I want to see if I can maybe get a couple more colors to try out and review for you guys. I don't know. This is the entire collection. They have a lot to choose from. As you can see, this finger got messed up. <laughs> Totally not my fault. I don't even think it was a nail technician's fault either. It just got messed up because like I said, I thought that it was gel color. So I walked into the nail salon saying, hey guys, I have my own gel color today. And they're like, what? Are you sure that's not regular? I was like, yeah, I'm 100% sure. This is not regular nail polish. And so I think that the application was done incorrectly because, you know, there's a different way to apply regular nail polish as opposed to gel nail color. So, long story short, my nails got messed up, these two nails, but this hand is perfect! Perfect! Jonathan is here, and he cut himself on the face. This boy's nails are so sharp. Rudy cuts them every other day, sometimes every day, and he still manages to cut himself, so unfortunately I had to put a band-aid on him. But he's been feeling really under the weather and I'm so sad for him because he lost his voice. You hear that? Sorry guys, the camera died. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Probably something about Jonathan losing his voice. It's really raspy. 
Jaden took a two and a half hour nap and I'm gonna go get him now so he can eat his lunch. He woke up this morning at 8.15, which is very good. So now he's gonna be taking his regular naps again. Hi, Jaden. Ah, but it's... Hi. Ah. You excited to be up from your nap? But it's sore. Yeah? How was it? It was good? But... Yes? You smell like poop. I need to change your diaper, but how am I gonna do that? I'm wearing your brother. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Jaden is eating his eggs like he just got out of prison. <laughs> You're hungry, Jaden? You're hungry? Aww. Rudy and I were prepared to cook this evening, but for some reason we decided to do Uber Eats, right, Rudy? <laughs> Why did we do it again? I didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> that so we got bacon cheeseburgers from Lucky's and Rudy also got an Oreo milkshake or something like that something like that it's an Oreo milkshake yeah so Jonathan is taking a nap upstairs we we're all hanging out in Jaden's room as a family and it was so fun and now we're downstairs Jaden is about to have some mac and cheese some organic mac and cheese Jaden right yeah. right yeah and that's it I have been crocheting, working on some hats for the women's conference, and I'm going to put some special pom-poms on my joints because I want them to sell. And I feel like people really like pom-poms, so I'm gonna just eat, crochet, hang out with the family, and das da. Alright guys, so you have reached the end of the vlog. It's the next day and I'm finally closing this joint out. Lee saying I'm gonna be live streaming tomorrow, Wednesday, at around 6 or 6.30 p.m. And for this live stream, I want you to ask all the questions that you want me to answer in this video. So, is, did I even say that right? I'm, oh gosh, Largia, get it together, boo. Get it together. Leave a comment below with whatever question you have to ask me and I will answer it for sure tomorrow. Or if I already answered it, then I'll let you know where you can find the answer. <laughs> but the good thing about this live stream is you'll be able to skip ahead to whatever topic you want to watch you don't have to watch the entire video you just have to wait until the video comes out maybe like an hour later i'll put all the chapter markers in the comment section okay i hope that sentence makes sense i just feel really crazy right now <laughs> so and also the winner of the boust book giveaway will be announced in the live stream tomorrow you guys left amazing comments you guys are such bosses I did not realize what kind of audience I was broadcasting to I still can't speak properly so I apologize if what I'm saying doesn't make any sense this wave of like confusion has hit me and I don't know what that's about boys and girls pray for you girl okay but yeah some of you guys left such deep comments like I was just like whoa so I really wish that I could give all of you the book because you all deserve it. But unfortunately, desafortunadamente, I only have one book. But <laughs> so that winner will be announced in tomorrow's live stream right in the beginning. And I think that's all I have to tell you, right? So thank you so much for watching this video, man. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to us if you still haven't. Make sure you're following us on social media. And we'll talk to you next time. Say bye-bye, Jonathan. Say bye-bye. You gonna say it? No? You smell like poop. Why don't you go change your diaper? <laughs> Bye guys. Marianne and Rudy are raising a family. This is how life should be. This is their story.